So in this video, we're going to show another way to build up songs on the Deluge. It's a little more advanced, so beginners will want to make sure that if any of this sounds confusing, just check out my other previous videos on the Deluge that I've made. We're going to build up a few MIDI tracks. We're going to record the MIDI into a Ranger view, and then we're going to lay down the final audio track of the song idea. After that, we can work on adding other audio on top of it by simply adding more audio clips in. So I have a template all set up. It's not the same as the template we made in the first video of the series. I have a Novation circuit set to the drums on a MIDI kit, and then the two synths are learned, and how to do that is hold down learn, hold down the track, and then press any key from the synth, and then it automatically will register as notes playing in. The Novation circuit's audio is going through my MX-1 mixer, and then it goes back to the line end of the Deluge. So I had set up an audio track, in the arranger view so that I can hear the audio that's coming in. The reason why we're doing this is because I want to combine the song view and the arranger view and I want to build up just some ideas using the song view and that way I can kind of like make little loops and then perform it out into a song structure and then I want to be able to multi-track record on top of it. I'm going to be using synths with long release so if I wanted to loop to audio it would be too choppy if it had a very long release. So let's just illustrate that real quick. I already have a beat in here. So we're just going to record to audio and then we're going to make it loop so you can hear how it's going to have an issue. So as you can hear, it doesn't sound horrible. But it's just not what I want to do. I want to actually have notes carry across if they have long release. So let's just build up a song really quick. Just something very basic. Okay, now I'm just going to record synth 2. Now we're just going to make the next part of the song. So I'm just going to duplicate all those tracks, move them up here. We're going to clear out both of those. Just cleared out both of the tracks by going in, holding down left right knob, pressing back. So we're just going to record another synth line for, let's say, just a different section of the song. Record in the synth 2 in here. And let's just do the same thing. We're going to copy it to a new track. Move all the tracks up. We're going to move all the tracks up here. Now we're going to go in, we're going to clear the tracks just like I did before. Left, right knob, back. And we're just going to mute them back again. Now I'm going to do one more, maybe lower notes. Okay, so we're just going to record. Let's record this one. Now I could have done a lot more of this. I'm just showing this really quick just so we can get this. So now what I want to do is just record this into a Ranger. We'll figure it all out. I know that the first track here is the drums, second, synth one, third, synth two. And that's how I have it arranged on all of these. So I want to record to the arranger. We'll just start off with the first synth and I'm just going to perform something in. And it's just going to probably be a little improv just playing around with the mutes and switching. Uh, and then when we're done, we'll just press play and it'll stop everything. So here we go, record. And then we hold down this button right here. Now this is just recording the MIDI, so remember that. We're just gonna add the drums. And then the next synth, 
part. Let's go to the next part. We're going to turn off the drums. Back on. We'll just go to the next part. Just let that play a couple times. Then we'll just go back to the first part. off the drums right now just play that a couple more times and then we're gonna stop it so we're gonna turn these off one more time so we're just gonna get that ready to mute and then we'll just press stop and we're gonna zoom out from a ranger and now we see everything that I just put in here you can see where I left the drums in where I turned them off etc so now what I want to do is I want to record all of this into an audio clip. So I'm going to hold down on a new track. We're going to press the knob, and we're in audio 14. Now I want to just name that. We're just going to name that song. S-O-N-G. Enter or knob. And there it is. So there's our song track. So we're going to arm our song track by holding down record and pressing on the mute. Now that's armed. So I'm just going to record all this in, and I'm also going to play with my MX-1 over here. I have a little knob that I'm going to turn and play with effects as it plays. And I can also play with the mixer levels if I want, but I think I'm just going to keep this really simple, and we're just going to start recording now, so just press play, and off we go. Okay, so we just recorded all of that. What I want to do is free up all the MIDI clips, but I can't really do much uh, if I mute them because if I play, say, a keyboard that's going through here, it's not going to be able to send the MIDI through if that's muted. So what we're going to have to do is clear it out. So what we have to do now, we're going to save this, and we're just going to call it, what, Song 01. So there we go. We just saved that. We saved it because I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Uh, if we want to go back and change this or edit it, if we want to make a new audio clip, we'd have to go back through and maybe even recreate the whole thing if we didn't save all this right here. We're going to hold down on the track. We're going to turn it into a section color. Press song. We're going to go back 
and now it's a section color. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear everything. So I'm gonna hold down left and right knob, press back, make sure we're in a ranger view. We clear the whole thing. Now, what I have to do is find song that's right there. We're just gonna put it right here at the beginning and we're gonna turn that to blue and there's our song track. So all of these are free MIDI clips. So if I wanted to go in and add more, we can do that now. So this is just gonna be set up just like the other multi-track video. If I hold this down, press the knob, we have next audio track and what I want to do is hold down record and arm it for the next track. We're going to press play and record something over that. Say I want it to stop right here. I just added an instance, so it's just gonna stop recording right there. So that's over. Now we have that track. Let's just make it an instance. There we go. Repeat the process. Make a new track, press the knob. We have a new track here. Hold down record. We're gonna arm the next track. And let's say I wanna go up here this little further and maybe have like, we're gonna go to our drum pads over here. We want a little clap. So we're just gonna record and play. So there we go, we just added the end right there so that it stops exactly where we want it to. And we're gonna turn that into an instance and then repeat it a couple times. Or we can loop it if we want by holding down the track and then extend it to wherever we want. So there we are. We're just adding it various places and we can just keep going through and doing this. We could add vocal tracks, we could add guitar leads, we could add whatever we want on top of this, just as long as we're happy with that first one. And then if we wanna save it again, we can do now is it's just going to save it as a different file. So we're just gonna press enter now we just saved it as a different file. So if I go back one, we can see the original just in case we wanted to access it. So yeah, you can go forward and just keep adding more tracks and then recording whatever you want. Just have to make sure it's armed to the right track and then off you go.